Hello students, I am Surya Saxena, Assistant Professor in IMS University Courses Campus, Gajabad. Today, we will discuss about basic computer architecture. We can view the basic computer architecture basically in this form. This is the basic nomenclature for any computer architecture. First of all, we input our data from any input devices. That data goes to the memory section or processor section there is a bi-directional arrow between CPU and memory section memory section primarily divided into two parts that is primary memory and secondary memory after storing the data from here CPU fetch that data by these buses so the data transfer in both the direction from CPU to memory and memory to CPU in processor, we have two basic units that is control unit CU and arithmetical logical unit. We know that control unit has the overall control on the computer system and ALU that is arithmetical logical unit perform a number of computational or arithmetic or logical or relational operation to the R entered data. After the instruction has executed the data transfer from memory to the output devices and we can get our processed data or information from these output devices so for better understanding we can view this basic computer architecture in this form the data or the program which we have entered in the computer or written on the computer has the main task to instruct the computer that that's why I, it is called that a program is a set of instruction because instruction told computer or instruct to computer or give command to computer to, to perform to perform any certain task so when we have entered the data from input devices then from memory section it's the primary responsibility of the CU that is control unit to fetch and decode that data so CU we can view this processor into two parts CU and ALU or we can say that it is the execution unit so data from memory is fetched by the CU or control unit and after fetching it decodes that instruction decoding means to recognize the pattern what's the pattern binary bit or byte have within it for example where to perform addition subtraction or any operation to the certain operands after fetching and decoding has done from the CPU end, it goes to the ALU part that is in the execution unit part and execution unit executes that instruction or, or program and then transferred to the input output devices. So at last we receive or we get our processed data after the instruction has executed by the ALU from these output devices okay so this is the basic functionality or basic architecture of any computer organization of any computer system okay